Good morning. This is a scrubber stash, and I'm going to be working on a card. I have all these cuts that I'm going to make. Um, we're going to make them here in a little while. I'm going to start off with just a random uh, white daisy. This one is, let's do it down here, five and a quarter by three and three quarters. I'll trim it down later to fit the card, but let's go ahead and start with oxides. I'm going to be creating a sunrise or sunset. Um, so I have my tools. I have pulled five oxide inks. I don't know if I'll use all five, but I have sealess preserves, picked raspberry, uh, abandoned coral, spice marmalade, and mustard seed. So I'm going to start with sealess preserves and picked raspberry. And I already have picked raspberry on one of my blenders. And I need to swap marmalade for preserves. Okay, and I'm using my all-purpose mat. I'm sorry about my snuffles. I'm not sick, I promise. It's just really bad allergies. We have the plant, two plants, or one of the two plants that I'm really allergic to starting to bloom. So, not a fun time. The next one will be in September. Okay, so I'm just going to do a purple base. Oh, I really got a circle in there, didn't I? If I'm shaking you guys all around. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna blend it with the picked raspberry. I'm just gonna make pick raspberry really bold right in here, and then we'll blend them together. And let's, I'm going to leave picked raspberry on. I'm going to close up my seedless preserves. I always call it grape, but it is seedless preserves. So if I did call it grape earlier, I apologize. This reminds me of grapes. It's so purple. Okay. Now it does get everywhere. So that's why I have a mat and you'll notice that I'll probably get it all over the back. So luckily we're going to be hiding the back. I'm going to do coral next. And this is abandoned coral. Now the other one that I could pull in is my favorite and that's tattered rose. And tattered rose would be really pretty just on the very top. Because this is going to be the bottom. I'm just working a little differently. So I'm going to leave some white space in between raspberry and And the coral and we'll blend together. I just want this really nice and bold. Okay, now I'm going to start blending into the picked raspberry. I'm going to take whatever ink is left on my picked raspberry and I'm going to bring it up into the coral to that blank area that we had and just keep filling it in get a little bit more but I'm going to start down here and bring it up okay. that's looking pretty good I don't have as much picked raspberry as I'd like though There's a little bit pinky. Okay, now I don't have much room for the orange, and I think I'm just going to end with orange marmalade. So I'm going to leave the abandoned coral on because that's what I want to blend with. I'm going to take the 
picked a raspberry off for the moment. I might go back to it. We'll see. It's all about playing around with these ones, but I love box sightings. They're so much fun. And they create such a, such a pretty, pretty background. They're stunning highlights or uh, just really fun. I might have enough to do a mustard seed at the top. I'm just going to blend down. Now, I'm holding it on the edges very gently. Well, firmly, but uh, cautiously, I guess. You can leave fingerprints with oxides, but I think it'd be okay on this one. I could hold it in the middle because I'm going to cover up the middle. So if you know you're going to cover up something, you can always do that. Okay, let's do a little bit more of the coral. I'm going to pick up mustard seed. This is probably my favorite. Of course, if you guys know me, yellow is my favorite. Always has been my favorite color. But this one is just such a striking color. It's really a bold, bold yellow. It is not a soft yellow in the slightest. Now I will say that we have two new oxides coming and they are very pretty colors. So if you are enjoying the oxides as much as I am, then you can add two more into your collection. to marmalade. I have like these weird smudges up here and I'm having issues blending them. So I'm going to start kind of low. And sunsets and sunrises aren't perfect, right? But that looks better. Okay. So like I say, you get it everywhere and you do. Um, I'm going to pick up my blending tools, put my oxides aside, and I'm just going to wipe this down really fast because I don't want to get this oxide ink everywhere, and it's on my fingers, it's everywhere right now. So I am going to wipe everything up. That's the best part about this all-purpose mat, so you can do that really fast and easily. Okay, so now we can trim this down. Uh, to me, it looks like a sunset or a sunrise. And we can also trim the other pieces I do have. So, we are going to trim. We're going to start with the outside. This is going to be the outside. Grab my trimmer. I am only going to trim an eighth off of this, so, oh, maybe not, I'm going to trim a quarter because it is five and a quarter, so I'm going to trim it down to four inches this way, so I got another one perfectly sized, okay, so that's my background, and in fact, I'm going to use that one again, let's see what it is, it's yeah, it is four. Perfectly sized for another card. I think I'm going to keep it for another card because it is perfectly sized. I'm going to cut this one down instead. 
This is sangria. In case you guys couldn't tell. Okay, so this is just about four. We'll do five and a quarter. Oh, I actually want it less than that. So, but I'm gonna keep it that way for right now. I'll put these two aside because I really don't know what I want. So the second one that I trimmed down is actually gonna be a quarter inch bigger than this daisy. And this daisy is going to be determined by this stamp here, Fun in the Sun. So let's go ahead and get that stamped really fast. And this will fit a three by three. It looks huge. But I measured it this morning. It'll, it'll fit my three by three block barely. So it's a three by three stamp. And then we'll do the fun inserts for the, the U and the, the U's in both sun and fun. But like I said, it is like perfectly three by three. In fact, I didn't grab it correctly. I have just a little bit hanging over. So I'm going to gently rip that off. Pull it off of there. There, that should work. Now this is a brand new one. I haven't used it yet, but I've seen a lot of artwork that is just really pretty with it. So I'm going to just use the little foam that comes with it. Don't throw that away if it's useful. And I'm going to use archival black because it's my favorite black. It's the boldest black. Which actually I'm thinking that I need. I was thinking this last night. I need a reinker for. Like it's getting a little low. When you use it almost every day. It's easy to. Now I'm going to just suck it up into the front, the top left corner, and I'm going to trim around it. Okay, so there's that. Still looks really good, though. Okay, so peel this off and get my little use. They did such a good job with this set, as they always do. Okay, so this is like a little orange or a lemon, could be lime, some kind of citrusy fruit. And I'm going to use some dance. So I'm going to put my archival away. I could use lemonade for lemon, but this makes for like a really pretty orange. Pretty darn cute. And they have other ones like they have a strawberry for your beer. Love you very much. And, um, a watermelon in summer and Really cute little fruits everywhere. So grape, your grape, pretty darn cute set. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this down exactly to the stamp. And then we'll put it in this corner, measure it. Right, get rid of Sundance. Okay, so it's two, almost two and a half by three. So I'm going to do two and 
two and uh, two and three quarters. Three and a quarter. That's going to stand out like so. Okay. Now, I have two more things that I want to do. One is a very thin strip of almond. Okay, so this is almond. Now, sneak peek, this is going away. Guys, this is a retiring color. So if you really like almond, you better stock up. So if you watch these videos this month, you will probably get some sneak peeks. Okay, so I'm only going to do a half inch of that, but I'm going to do a three quarter inch because I'm going to rip a quarter inch off of the blue. Now this is going to go all the way across, so this is a three and three quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it down to three and three quarter. And this is Carolina that is staying with us for next year. Sangria is staying. There's eight retiring colors. One of which is one of my favorites, but that's okay. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm on the dark side. And if you rip towards you, then the white will show. If you rip away from you, the white will be back here. So it just depends on how you want to do it. But I want the white towards me. And you can always score it. And you know, I'm not going to be really fussy about it because this is going to be... I'm not going to be really, like, clean. These are supposed to represent, like, breaking waves along the beach. Okay, so it's going to sit on to the beach, more or less, like that, to create the illusion that there's breaking waves. So this is a sunset on a beach. Okay, so I still don't have a Tomo. And you probably will still hear me complain about these silly Walmart ones that I have. I hate these things. Tombow is on its way, though. We got notification yesterday that it has shipped. Now, if you really like Tombow, um, you're going to have to look into our new Tombow product that is coming out. In September. We haven't been able to order it yet, so you won't see it for a while because I don't think it'll come until at least the middle of the month. But I will be ordering it once it comes in. There's some new adhesives that are really cool coming up. Okay, so there's my nice sunset with the beach. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Stick this onto the sangria. Oh, I forgot to cut it down. Of course. I always forget to cut it down, don't I? And then I have a sticky mess. Okay. So I need it five by four or three and three quarters. It's already three and three quarters, thank goodness, but I need it five inches, and I wanted to trim it this way, but that's okay. I didn't remember what I was doing, and I don't want it to stick to my, to my quarter inch that I need to trim. Okay. I'll get the rest of my marmalade, or my uh, yellow off of there soon. I chose a dark color because it'll make it stand out. Okay. Now, if you really want to not get your fingerprints all over it, you can stab it with heat, or you can flip it over like I did and rub it back. Okay, let's get this one on.
Or I could have used like Lagoon with this one too instead. That would have been really pretty. But I'm going to stick this one up just a little bit farther up here. Well, that's a fun card, isn't it? Okay, so let's get our base. I'm going to put it right here. This one would be perfect for my sister-in-law. She loves the beach. Actually, two of them love the beach. Two of my husband's sisters absolutely adore the beach. Like I said, I hate the walnut ones. I don't know why I even try. I think it's because I'm out of glue, like, all around. If you have a trick for these let me know in the comments below also while i'm thinking of it leave a comment thumbs up heart share these videos all you want um, it helps everybody see these amazing products and how to use them and you guys help support my small business and i appreciate that greatly by you guys watching these so there's my fun beachy card with the nice little sunset sunset or sunrise and the little beach with the water crashing. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great one. We'll see you on Saturday.